Treatment of prostate cancers includes surveillance. This is where the tumour is carefully observed over time, with the aim to begin treatment if there is any signs of progression. This monitoring may include routine PSA tests, digital rectal examination, or repeated biopsies at set intervals. As prostate cancers can be slow growing, this is a suitable treatment option, but it's not considered for more aggressive forms of prostate cancer. Other treatment options include radical prostatectomy, where seminal vesicles, the prostate and the ampullae of the vas deferens are removed. Radiation therapy to target the abnormal cells is also a treatment option. External beam radiotherapy is one option where radiation is directed towards the whole pelvis externally with the aim to inhibit cancer cell growth and eliminate cancer cells. Another form of radiotherapy is brachytherapy, where tiny radioactive seeds are placed in the body close to the tumour. Cryosurgery is a treatment that uses extreme cold produced by liquid nitrogen or argon gas to destroy cancer cells and abnormal tissue. Hormone therapy is also considered to reduce androgen levels and to prevent them reaching prostate cancer cells to reduce growth. Luteinizing hormone blockers, which stops the pituitary gland making a luteinizing hormone, therefore testicles don't receive the message to produce testosterone. Elevated androgen levels promote prostate cancer cell growth. Examples of luteinizing hormone blockers are luprorelin and bucirelin. Anti-androgens are a type of medication that stops androgens from working by binding onto the receptors and stopping the binding of testosterone. The aim is to reduce prostate cancer cell growth, and examples of anti-androgens include, include flutamide and bicolutamide. When anti-androgens and luteinizing hormone blockers are combined as first-line therapy for prostate cancer, this is called a combined androgen blockade.